Hey everybody, today we're back on Minecraft and we're gonna start off every episode like usual. I'm gonna give you guys what's been happening, some updates, um, and today we're gonna be playing with some more features of the aquatic update that I haven't played with yet, specifically the heart of the sea and the conduits, um, and treasure maps, we're gonna be doing something with that. Uh, but guess let's start out with uh, some of like the obvious updates. Well, since then, I've probably quadrupled the amount of time that I've spent farming. So I had to expand, I think even some of this maybe didn't exist, I had to expand this. So remember, every single one of these is a double chest, I expanded all the way here and I thought maybe I'll be fine. Well, all of these are completely filled, so yeah, so I had to move over here with more room and this is now almost filled. So you just gotta imagine, I built these, and then I built those, and then I built these, and then I have to, and I built these, and now I'm gonna have to build even more probably here. And look, I'll prove it to you. So yeah, that's the update with this place. Not really too much, like, renovation, but I've grinded quite a bit, and actually I can prove it here. So almost, I'm not gonna even count the amount of name tags there. So we are gonna do a little bit of enchanting before we do anything special today because I have 63 levels, but before we do that, I have a couple small updates up here. So, like I said earlier, today we're gonna be playing with uh, the conduits since we've never done anything. Last episode we did tridents, today it's gonna be conduits. I do, oh, I do already have some Heart of the Seas because I did go um, treasure hunting and I'm gonna play those clips right now. So we're back and these maps correlate with like so like this map I used to find this one and then blah 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 these two are the exact same map those are the so yeah anyway not getting into that I have plenty of those I went and did a little bit of exploring got a little bit of packed ice and this is just more exploring that I did um, got quite a few ores almost a stack of emeralds yeah, you know a couple fishing rods lots of treasure maps just Overall, I visited my Celium Island. Just, just some updates, which is really, really cool. So, uh, other updates. I guess we can go through these. Elytra plus mending new equipment. This is all enchanted gear now. It's not just like enchanted gear. Like I went over there, pressed enchant, and these are all fully kitted. So every single one of these has on breaking three. Every single one of these should have some form of protection for, whether if it's fire, because sometimes I didn't get to pick. The boots all should have Feather Falling, Death Strider, or Frostwalker, and all the helmets should have Aquafinity, Respiration. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fully kitted out suits. The only thing that a lot of them are missing are mending, but obviously that's really hard to come by. I'm going to need to farm a lot more to get all of these mending. And then... Again, once again, all of these fully kitted shuffles. Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 3 minimum, plus mending, slash fortune, slash, um, yeah. Then we have some more. So we have another uh, 6 here, and then we have some nice swords. These two at the end are the best swords, because Sharpness 5, Unbreaking 3, mending. So this is a god sword, and then this is a god sword. It just doesn't have mending on it. And then some of uh, those. And then we have our picks, which we go through the longest, or the quickest, so we do have a good amount of axes, but yeah, once again, every single one of these Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4. The two main goals that I have for today are obviously Heart of the Conduits, we're going to go find some more, and then play with the Conduits, but I do want to make a dedicated armor room, because at the moment, this is what we have. So I told you guys when we renovated uh, like our bedroom here, which I just fully kitted out for like no apparent reason, like a 7 year old. I, I needed to move the armor somewhere, so I just moved it in here with the rose for now. Um, but, obviously, I want to get my own dedicated armor room. So, today what we're going to do, I don't know if we're going to finish it, but we're definitely going to start it. Um, we're going to find some space, and we're going to make it to the armor room, probably actually down here. Now that I think about it, right there. That would make a decent armor room right there. Hopefully, there's not anything under there, because... I don't want to just make it like a room with like a bunch of stands and just my armor. I want to have a little bit of fun with it, so maybe I could, let me just pull some things out. So what I was thinking, this is just my initial idea, I haven't worked out any of it. I want to make it where the armor actually comes like out of the ground. 
You know what I'm saying? So we're definitely going to need like a two piston system to bring it up. But that was my idea. But um, we're got, we're got, this is going to be the last thing we're going to do today. So for now, we're going to focus on uh, the conduits first. So right before we grab our Elytra and actually go for the conduits, I have 63 levels. I'm going to use these real quick. Uh, so let me just figure out kind of what I want to do. So now that I think about it, if we're going to be using the Elytra so much, why don't I do what I was saying earlier and actually enchant some of these with mending. So I do have quite a few mending books. Um, there's still some more up, but I'll just leave those there for now. Let's see, how many do I have right now? Uh, where is my mending? That's right in front of me. Okay, so we do have quite a fish. And we're just going to go ahead and put mending on each of these. Whoopsies, wrong way. Once again, we have so many levels, we're not going to have any issues with this. Bam. Bam. Okay, you know what? Let's just grab two more mending. Alright, let's grab these two. Can I put unbreaking on this? I can put unbreaking on it. Oh, that... Man, I've been playing this game for hundreds of hours and I've still got a lot to learn. I'm definitely going to put unbreaking on even mine. Like, the ones that I own right now. I'm literally right now. The ones that I have on. I'm going to put unbreaking on these because I want them to break less. There you go. Okay. Sure that, you know, they're not like really godlike bugs. Oh, and there goes an anvil. So, let's put that. Uh, Aqua Affinity, that's fine. Unbreaking, that's fine. Depth Strider, I don't, I don't really care about Depth Strider. Uh, sharpness, that's fine. Oh, another one broke, man. Going through anvils like crazy. Put that, put that. This one has Unbreaking, do all of them have Unbreaking? Alright, all of them are set, and let's get, well, you know what, screw it. Let's just get one more Mending book. And then wait, did we have an unbreaking? Th you just watched me run through 63 levels, and now, oh crap! I scared the. Ooh, okay, let's let's make sure this one doesn't blow up, huh? That would be kind of bad. I definitely need to make sure I light that place up better. But there is a bunch of Elytra right there. Like I said, I just gotta go back to the farm, uh, the Ender Pearl farm, and I'll fix them right up. But for now, let's go ahead. We already have. Uh, four of these, but I'm gonna grab one more actually find one on camera with you guys um, And then we'll play with it from there. So I guess let's just grab a random one So I guess you could say this is like a treasure finding tutorial So um, Let's see which one looks interesting This one looks interesting, okay, so let me quickly show you all these maps work so this is a map of I, for, I don't know what the exact dimensions but that X you see right there that is where the treasure is it's usually underground or most of the time almost all the time it's underground so how these maps work is it's a normal like north east south west never eat watermelon never eat sour watermelon uh, so they're not like weird upside down so you can see my little dot is actually at the bottom right corner of the map that means that we need to go north and then we need to go west to actually get to it and then once you get into this grid your thing will show up so um yeah we need to go northwest at this moment and to figure out where you're going you just press f3 and i can't exactly like show you because i can't point on the screen but it uh if you go to the fourth line down from like the second paragraph type of thing it says facing and then it'll tell you where you're facing so what you want to do, so we need to go northwest, so there's west, there's north, so we need to head that way. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab lots of fireworks just in case it is super far away. And these are pretty disposable, so I'm going to grab as many as I can. Um, actually, let's put back some of those. And of course, let's grab some extra Elytra just in case ours runs out. So once again, oops, he's reloading all chunks. We need to go northwest, northwest, so which is that way. And we go.
another. Ooh, another bit of lag. <sighs> oh, crap. Crap. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh. Oh. I almost just died. I almost just died right there. All of the treasures. Okay, well, um. Ooh, and we're now stuck underground. Okay, we're definitely not getting that treasure back to northwest, so it is that way. Um. Oh, 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 okay, a uh, little bit of lag. Let me go ahead and land here. I just checked, okay, I'm taking a picture by accident. I just checked and look, uh, you can see like our arrow now isn't at the corner. It's actually walking around on the map and we're right on top of the X. So we're actually right on top of the treasure and I'm super glad this isn't one that I already dug up. I actually got a little bit scared that uh, it was one that I already dug up. And I saw a lot of people online complaining they couldn't find the treasure chest. Um, my best advice to you is keep digging. Sometimes things in life aren't easy. See, there you go. It's not that hard. You'll find it. I believe in you. Let's see. We do have a heart of uh, heart of the sea in here. Nice. I was really hoping we did because if we didn't, um, I wouldn't have like a good example. Um, the rest of the crap we don't really need. And just to show you guys, we are at negative seven thousand, negative twenty thousand. So. Yeah, we flew quite a bit, and my Elytra didn't break at all. Uh, that Unbreaking 3 really changes it. I didn't realize it would be that great. I need to stop flying, because it causes me to lag. I don't get it, guys. I have a 99, and I still lag like that. Um, but yeah, okay, we got what we, were coming, what, we, what we were coming for. Let's go back to the base, and let's play with the conduit. So, I'm just going to meet you guys there. Okay, guys, so we have Heart of the Seas. Let's grab three of them. And to make a conduit, you also need Nautilus shells. It. Now, I haven't really searched much into it either, so I wish I could tell you guys more. Uh, but this is how you make it. You just make a heart of the sea in the middle and surrounded by Nautilus shells. And bam, there are three conduits. So let's go ahead and place the rest of these shells. 
in here. So to actually make like the beacon part, like the structure, you just need some form of prismarine blocks. So I'm just going to use prismarine brick. And along with the prismarine brick, you also can use uh, the sea lanterns. These also do work with it. I don't know why I just dropped them. So now here's my only issue. I don't have much water to actually test it on because I don't have any major water structures other than here. Now the only problem is it's not really very big, um, but this is what we have to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit deeper and then uh, we're going to go ahead and see what it does. Okay guys, to build this, uh, you just need conduits and the prismarine blocks or sea lanterns. Uh, so I'm going to use a little bit of a mixture of both. So what you want to do is you want to make a ring around it and then the other way around it and then a ring in the middle uh, with a uh, 5x5 five five, I'm pretty sure. Okay guys, so I did a quick bit of reading. So basically every single layer more adds I think another 16 blocks or something along those lines, 16, 32, something like that. Anyway, each layer just makes it uh, go further away, the conduit power. And what the conduit power itself does is it kills hostile mobs around it. Um, it gives you better mining speed in the water. That was pretty fast, you guys saw. Uh, it gives you night vision and uh, your breathing doesn't go uh, as easily, or I don't I don't know if it's at all or at easily, but you guys can see my bubbles are not going down. Um, so yeah, there is the first conduit. Um, yeah, that's really about it. Now, obviously, this is a pretty terrible place to have it, um, but then again, I don't really have any water structures anywhere. Honestly, I'm probably gonna end up tearing this out later, cause I, or just tearing out the rest of making this bigger. I don't like how this looks, but for now, we're gonna leave it there. So guys, that is. Um, the first conduit that we've played with okay guys so now we're gonna go ahead and move on so I showed you guys that showed you guys that armor room with floor that rises so that's gonna be our next project is an armor room and like I said I guess the best place to have it is right here um, because obviously I need to fill this with something oh and that is probably a mining hole that I had earlier I don't remember doing um okay so there's nothing under here okay cool so this is this will be a decent place i want to make sure there's no like redstone under here somehow i'll definitely fill up that hole before i die or something but um yeah here's what's gonna happen because i don't obviously have it all planned in my head just yet um i'm probably gonna actually go to a redstone world and play with some designs and like how i want it to look and stuff so um i'll probably be back all right everybody i think i have an idea of what i'm doing now this is going to be a little bit of a rough plan this is definitely not going to be the final um but i think i have an idea i did find um a double piston extender by mumbo jumbo not exactly how i wanted it but i think i can work around it so um yeah let's get started i'm going to start by grabbing all of the items so a bunch of redstone we're going to need quite a quite a bit of comparator um some repeaters all right, everybody, so we actually have to go three down and then a fourth one down where that piston should be. Let's go ahead and destroy all of that and put that block back. And then for now, we can actually destroy that because obviously we're not going to want that block coming up. So we're about three down and then this one's going to have to be four down. So what we do is we place two pistons just like that. This is just totally from mem memories. So hopefully I can remember this. And then we place, oh, I forgot torches. Okay, so I got myself the torch. So what you do is you place a torch right there. And just for now, I'm going to empty this out because that's actually where we're gonna have to power it from. So for now, I'm just gonna leave that there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna grab a repeater, place it there with a block, and then redstone with another block but 
you do also want to place a block right there. Now you do want to come to this side, grab a dropper, face it that way, place a hopper, place any single item in there, so I'm just going to place that one iron ore, then a block, comparator, then another block. And surprisingly, that is actually it right there. So we power this down and place that block. You can see it is floor level just like that. And when we bring it down, it comes all the way back down. So that is our double piston extender. So now my plan was um, to keep armor stands just like that. And then we, when we want them presented, they'll just come and pop right up for us. Now the only issue with this is just the fact that I really, I don't have a way to hide it. See, like, just like that, I don't really have a way to hide it. Okay, guys, so I think I have an idea. If I back this up by two and put it into the wall, I could actually have pistons coming out from the wall to hide that one spot. Okay guys, so I think I did also find a way how to power all these even when they're right next to, I don't, hmm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to build one right next to here to make sure I am able to power them because I might have to space them out by one if not. And I don't want to build too many of them before knowing that it could actually work. Okay guys, so I'm just doing a little bit of testing. I thought I should probably give you guys an update since I've been kind of just working. So here's two side by side. There is a little bit of conflict between the redstone. Now each of them individually works i think the issue is the timings in the hopper clock back here they mess with each other so yeah guys look normally each of them individually works so they both come okay maybe this one doesn't hmm okay guys so i have an idea so i could build them so they pop up in these intervals so like one here one there 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 and then I could also have them start popping up in the middle here. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start having some fun at this point. I'm just going to go ahead and just start building and building and building. And kind of, and I'll obviously be recording the entire time and we'll see where it gets me. Okay guys, so I built a couple of them. Now, this is actually going to be the first test to see if they work. I haven't tested it at all. Um, I have no reason to believe that they wouldn't work though. And everything should be built right. So, let's check it out. Okay, yeah. Then do they all go back up? All of them go back up. Just like planned. Now, what's there's a little bit of a timing difference. Trying to figure out what that is. Oh, okay. Each of these needs one tick, and then each of these needs zero ticks. I actually got them backwards. Because this one comparator, um, each one of those is a tick off, they should all be correct now. Yep, they're all exactly on time now. Okay, cool. So basically how this is gonna work, let's just say. Okay, I don't I don't know where I'm gonna bring this up to. But let's just say I'm bringing this up to... Okay, everybody. So, it works just like how I wanted it to. So, all the armor stands pop up to ground level. And when you press this, they go back down. And what I'm going to end up doing is actually placing a bunch of pistons over here that are going to probably, like, shove a block in front of here because I don't... Obviously, I don't want this hole showing. And then I'm also going to do... Uh, this to this side over here, and then I'm probably gonna put some in the middle also
Okay guys, little update. I did this entire side over here and it does work and all of the timings are correct. I think they might be off by one. You know what, actually, I might be a little bit thrown off because of the fact that they don't have these things on them yet. We built them. What I'm going to do is build the pistons behind them, and we're probably going to maybe decorate them either next episode or just slightly decorate them, but we're definitely not completely finishing this today. Now, let's go ahead and bring them all down because I will have to add pistons behind every single one of these. Okay guys, so a little bit more progress. I put all the pistons back there. Um, I actually, I removed one um, armor stand off this side just to make it symmetrical so I can look at it like this. And this is gonna be the lever that's gonna control it all. So now I just gotta hook up that circuit and the pistons up to this. All right guys, so I hooked up the redstone to uh, the armor stands themselves. You can see them all go down. You can see them all go up, down, and up. Okay, so that's good. Now I just got to set up the pistons behind them. And I should probably show you. I just hooked up the rest of them just like that. Brought it very messily all over back and back to this original place. Okay guys, so I set up the pistons uh, all the way around on two ticks and I even added a little bit of more time to make sure these have enough time to go down. Now I I don't know, I don't know if this will work, this might break it, then I might have to replace a lot of blocks, but you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a go. Those should go down and, oh did they get pushed, crap they got pushed down. Okay guys, so. With a little bit of work, I kind of figured out that I'm either going to be spending hours here to fix this or I just split it up into um, a much simpler task. So basically what the problem was, um, the timings between the armor stain being pushed up and the wall coming back out, they wouldn't fit. So basically with the original plan, the problem was these were set to a slow pace and those were set to a fast pace. So basically half the equation would work. When coming down, these things would collapse quickly and these things would be slow and then push back after, so everything would be good. The problem is on the way back, I need these to be fast and these to be slow, but these were still slow. So basically these would come up fast and these would still be here and then it would screw up everything. So like I said, I just split them up into two timings. So this one controls the armor stance coming up and down and this one controls the wall coming out so yeah that makes things everything easy now all i have to do is make sure i don't press the wrong one at the wrong time because then it would mess up all my armor stands and that would um that would be a little bit messy i'm not gonna lie so i'm just gonna have to be really careful uh with not doing that okay everybody so this is with everything covered up so this will bring everything down then that will cover up the wall. And then if I want to bring it back up, I gotta make sure those are off. And I can bring those back up and back down. And honestly, I don't even have to technically play with that switch if I don't want to. I just gotta make sure I don't step back into these. Um, now obviously I'm just not I'm not gonna just leave it like this. Especially with these sticking out, that looks kinda weird. I'm definitely gonna put um, some decorations around here for each single armor stand. I'm definitely gonna be able, definitely gonna have to like do something nice, and it's going to be nice. Um, 
kind of just have to figure out like kind of what design I'm going for. So yeah, for now, just imagine all of those are diamond blocks. Let me quickly grab more though. Actually, what am I doing? I have a ton in here. Let's grab this. And hopefully there's not... Actually, I'm on peaceful, so a creeper wouldn't get me at the moment, but... Um, I do, uh, what I do have to remember is I need to go in the back and torch everything back up. Uh, so next episode, remind me in the comments, just in case. Okay, so, you mentioned those are all diamond blocks. These would come back out, and then the armor stands would pop back into every single one of these. And then they would go back down, and I would place another block. And of course, I'm probably, even this block, I'm going to replace with diamonds or something. Ah, that looks pretty cool. For, like, as, like, janky as a redstone is, that looks pretty cool, especially with, like, the armor coming up in each slot. I'm actually fairly proud of that. Yeah, I'm... Ah, man, I actually really like that. And just imagine, each one of these is going to be decorated, so don't, don't worry, each of these is going to be decorated. Okay, I actually really like that. Um, you know what we can even do? Just for now... Uh, let me just throw away some of this cobble. Let's go ahead and put um, one armor set on one of them just to kind of see how it looks. This should be interesting. So let's go ahead and just place it on this one. And remember, this is all like real good armor, so hopefully this doesn't just like glitch out. And okay, so this one, you can see the armor will just go down, and then whenever I want, and then this will go over. When I want the armor, I can just get that. And then they'll come right back up for me and I'll have my armor set okay cool all right guys so I'm gonna end the video there um, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably going to decorate it off camera but I won't finish finish the project um, I won't finish it off camera and there's even there's a couple tweaks that I could make I mean they'd be a lot of work like these are definitely off center because that one starts at the corner this one doesn't so I could move this one over by three. The only problem is the beacon. Um, you could just say, well, just move the beacon. The problem is the beacon is literally the center of our house. You can see there, it goes straight through the middle. So this beacon cannot be moved. And that's also another thing. We do need to decorate that beacon. So this beacon can't be moved. So I can't, unless I want it to be hidden, I could do that, but I don't know. These are all things that we're gonna have to think about and you guys can let me know in the comments, but guys, I have to end off the video or I'm gonna make this a 20 minute, 20, like 40 minute video. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel and I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.